Hey everybody, day 99 of No Poker Vlog. Uh, but we've got good news, good news today. Um, Governor said today, uh, which is earlier than I would have thought, at least that they would make the announcement, that we are gonna move into phase four on Friday. Friday will be phase four, which means gyms are back open and bars and restaurants we'll be able to go inside and eat. Um, it also means that video poker machines are gonna come back on and hopefully, Charitable poker will come back. That is the plan. Hopefully we can make that work We're still trying to make sure all of our ducks in a row all the licenses are in order So I will let you guys know as soon as I know if we are gonna be able to start this weekend Or if we're gonna have to start on the 4th of July weekend just depends on how the licensing work and kind of what happens there um, We are gonna be limited to 50 person events um, although I think that is better than, than nothing. So hopefully I will have good news for you in the next couple of days to let you know what's gonna happen. We will probably end the no days of poker tomorrow with day 100. So that'll be 100 days of vlogging for Ken, which is more than I ever thought we would be able to do. So thank you so much for everyone who has been watching. Thank you so much for everyone who has subscribed in this quarantine time. Um, it's amazing to me that so many people watch the videos and have commented and it makes me very happy and very humbling experience. So thank you again, just day 99. It's in incredible that you guys have gone on this trip with us for so far and hopefully we will get to see you in person very, very soon. And it could be as soon as Friday, um, maybe Saturday. I will let you guys know as soon as I know 100% when the first event's going to be, that is when I will let you know. Uh, with that being said, Definitely news out today in the sporting world. The NBA is coming back at the end of July. I think that's an official thing. Um, the Major League Baseball will be back by the end of July as well, 60 game season. I think that got announced today as well, so those are great things. NHL is definitely thinking of coming back at the end of July as well. They're still working on figuring out all of the you know, semantics and what's gonna happen with that, but looks like live sports will be back by the end of July, which is one more month and pretty awesome to think about. I forgot, even though I'm not a big watcher of sports on TV, it is nice to have them and it's something to do, um, you know, and everybody misses them. Having them gone for almost four months is definitely something that uh, has made me realize how much I love sports and watching them on TV. So, uh, day 99, this will also be the last day of movies. We did all of the 80s and now all of the 90s, so it's pretty incredible and we're gonna wrap it up with some good ones. Um, top 10 grossing films of 1999. Star Wars Episode I, The Phantom Menace. Not my favorite Star Wars, although somebody did rank that higher um, as their favorite Star Wars movies. So that's pretty incredible. I think that was Dallas who told me Star Wars Episode I was his second favorite. Rogue One was his favorite. Um, Jar Jar Binks, we got introduced to him, so it was pretty good. I always liked Star Wars The Phantom Menace. It was pretty pretty enjoyable to watch. The Sixth Sense was number two. Uh, another um, Bruce Willis movie. Toy Story 2 came out. The Matrix. Oh, The Matrix was so good. The first one was incredible. It was by far the best one. We will get a fourth um, movie in the Matrix series, so that's pretty exciting. I think that comes out this year. Uh, Tarzan, not my favorite. The Mummy, not bad. Mummy was pretty good. Notting Hill, I think I saw twice. Um, the World is Not Enough, another James Bond film. Uh, American Beauty, that was sad and good and the filmography, is that a word? I think it is. That was really quite good. And then Austin Powers, The Spy Who Shagged Me, rounded out our top 10 movies of 1999. Some other movies, and there's some good ones in here. We're gonna end with my one of my favorite movies, so we'll, we'll save that one for the end. American Pie came out in 1999. I remember that uh, in college, and those were huge movies, huge hits. Big Daddy came out, that's my favorite Adam Sandler movie, minus Happy Gilmore, and maybe Billy Madison, definitely one of my top three. Although Uncut Gems was really good too, so Big Daddy's a good, you know, Adam Sandler movie. The Blair Witch Project came out in 1999. I remember seeing that, we went to like a midnight show on a Friday night, and that movie, even though we all knew it was fake, pretty safe to say it was fake, um, scared the shit out of me. Definitely one of my scarier movies I saw. Boondock Saints, a cult classic. Everybody loves that movie. They did a sequel, which wasn't great, but the original Boondock Saints, if you have never watched it, it is amazing. Fight Club came out in 1999, another great movie. Office Space, funny, everybody loves it. I, I never would have thought I would have much rather worked in that place right now, considering we haven't worked in the last three months. Um, and then the last movie we're gonna talk about in all of our top movies of the 80s and 90s, 
definitely one of my all-time favorites, Varsity Blues, James Vanderbeek's finest moment in film um, about high school football in Texas. It's great. Everybody loves Varsity Blues. I give it a 10, fuck 10. Um, day 99, we got one more day of these no poker vlogs and hopefully I will see you guys soon. I will let you know as soon as possible what's gonna happen, what we're gonna do, and the plan going forward. We've got a group meeting tomorrow with the minds of CCG to figure out the best way to bring you guys charity poker, the safest way to bring you charity poker. Hopefully we can make that work and figure it out. I'm excited to get back to work and see everybody and uh, you know, raise some money for some great causes and uh, you know, hopefully you guys get a lot of winners in poker. We have missed you greatly, I promise. Uh, day 99, we will see you tomorrow for day 100 and the last no day of poker vlog. See you tomorrow, buddy.